My role at the Institute really straddles the join between the Institute and Moorfields Eye Hospital. So I have a joint clinical role and academic posting. Uh, I do both. I'm director of the glaucoma service at the um, Moorfields Eye Hospital and then here I'm a reader. And where I take that is to run clinical trials looking at the effects of existing primarily glaucoma treatments on patients. And the exciting thing for me with that is that it really gets to the heart of what we do as clinicians on a day-to-day -day basis, making judgments about which treatment to take for which patient. And it then really scientifically and carefully analyzes those decisions by informing them with information about uh, uh, which treatment works best for the patient in terms of health-related quality of life, in terms of visual function, and also practical things like cost. So to do this, we've been able to involve patients all the way through that process. Right from the very beginning, we started with um, asking patients what was important to them. We went to the James Lind Alliance results that had asked thousands of patients and clinicians what was important to them and then analysed those to see which would apply to the studies we thought we wanted to do. And that, that helped us refine our question. And we could go back to patients in focus groups and ask patients specifically, is this question that we think is important, is that important to you? And then from that, we could frame a research question around a clinical treatment for glaucoma. In my case, it's selective laser trabecular plasty for the big trial that I've run through the HTA. And then really construct a, a design for a randomized controlled clinical trial to answer the question, should we be doing this doing this treatment, offering this treatment for patients newly diagnosed with glaucoma. So it's a very exciting process because we're both looking at it from a scientific perspective and from a patient's perspective and trying to bring those two together in a meaningful way and then convince the funders of that that we need to have funding for this study, for this, for this scientific research question, at the same time as conducting the study itself in such a way that the answer we get at the end of it all is meaningful. So very exciting times to be doing clinical trials with the clinical trials units available at UCL uh, and also exciting times to be doing it within the NHS because these are important questions that need to be answered.